it was in my mind for a couple of years already. It just took me some time to really decide that I should make a movie about Triad because there were so many Triad movies around in Hong Kong. Um, for some time, almost every movie in Hong Kong were about Triad, particularly after the success of A Better Tomorrow. And um, I think it was some time uh, around the date when I was planning the final options and I was researching on police matters and I also got in touch with a lot of trials materials and I thought maybe this should be a one topic that I can write on and uh, so it was a couple of years <laughs> Me and Dante have been working together for for many years. It was a relationship a, a bit more than ten years, I guess. Uh, he was my assistant director. Before that, he was my uh, he was an assistant producer in my uh, film, and and I personally picked him up to to really train him up to be a director, and. Um, even before the Beast Cop, uh, let's say in Final Option or the First Option, then they have been taking up bits and pieces of actions, uh, scenes that I let him do his own directing. And, and he would just follow some instruction of mine, some idea of mine, and then he, he do his own things. And he became so confident after then that I think it's time for him to really get up and direct his on film. He did one film, the G4, uh, which I thought was good enough, but we were facing a very tough market situation then. I think it was the worst time of Hong Kong film industry when we started Beast Corp. Uh, the pirated VCD sales were so high, and we, we, we were almost certain that um, unless we drastically cut the cost of Beast Corp, otherwise we won't survive. So I end up have to cut my uh, salary in a very large portion. And to justify that, uh, we came up with the ideas, well, uh, uh, Dante has been helping me already, so to so justify, justify that cut of salary and, and the fact that I'm going to let Dante do a little bit more, let's go direct. We were boring at that Hummer. We we did a lot of things to prevent that Hummer from be, from being damaged. So the the car, the race thing scene between the Hummer and the bus was in fact uh, uh, the whole thing was a special effect. Few people recognize that in fact in real life that Hummer never get together with the bus. It was two separate elements, and we just put them together. And that was tough, because um, like, like I told you, the, the budget of Beast Cop was way lower than what should be, because of the situation of the Hong Kong cinema then, at that time. And it was really tough for us. Michael is a very straightforward guy, um, which makes him perfect for the role. And the very fact that uh, after the final options, I always try to get a little bit more out of the cop thing, like he, he could be uh, strong in the final option, or Wong Sir in, in the first option, but uh, whatever he did. Uh, I was, I still had in mind that I, I can get a little bit more out of Michael, and and the Beast Cop was one of the attempts. He's a symbol of righteousness. He he was a symbol of good cop. 
he was a he he was a symbol of how the best cop could behave, and this is why I need him, particularly in the beast cop when when I need him to contrast the all the other cops, which was uh, 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 Anthony Wong and and Sam Lee, and which he did well. Hey, Tung Ko, bắt họ một chỗ sợ. Đi xe Tung Ko. He was one of the best actors around. I think everybody agrees. Um, and before Armageddon, I never worked with him. And even Armageddon, he was so surprised because uh, when I picked him up for the role of Armageddon, he was basically laid off. <laughs> He was considered a, a good actor, but bad for the old box office. Uh, 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 a great starring role for some C grade movie in Hong Kong, and that's it. And but I had a very good time with him in Armageddon, and the fact that I cast him in the G four as a leading role for Dante uh, just put gave me a lot of confidence in him. And I must say the Beast Cop was particularly catered for him. When I look at him and Michael Wong, I know what, what I can do with these two characters. I was such a close friend, close friend with him, I, I, I almost knew everything about him. Uh, I was the first one to know about his illness and at the at the height of his illness, he was doing G4. He was he was so afraid that he thought I would uh, change him, change the role of G4, and and put somebody else in place. But I didn't, and I was telling him the look doesn't count for for him, particularly as an actor. He never uh, used his look as as what he was trying to do. He it was his acting that was so impressive. So after then, I, I, I was simply having so much confidence in him and the very fact that he pay, placed a lot of trust on me after then was very important. He was that guy uh, during the, the during the shooting of the film, he was it basically morphed into that character that I was creating. And the very fact that he was doing it at a very unpretentious way was uh, like, it was not hard acting. It was just a test. And it was so relaxed all along the way. And that is very difficult. Considering the role that the, the, the of complexity of the role, he was. I think he handled that perfectly. Before Beast Cop, I always consider Patrick as one of the most underrated actor, and he is still the most one of the most underrated actor, even though he won the the Best Supporting Actor award. Um, Patrick was a veteran of TV drama. Uh, always played the bad guy. Uh, he he wasn't a big idol character, but he was he, he is one of the best actors around. And he, he, he wasn't able to get any good role, so to speak. Um, but I noticed him for at least five years before Peace Cop. I was always trying to find an occasion, just give me one chance to bring up Patrick Tam. And it was that occasion. I didn't even s talk to him when I cast him as, a, as the, on, on, in that role. I just told my producers, get Patrick Tam, tell him he's in. And then I thought Patrick was so surprised. We never met before. But that was it. I was so sure about him. Hey! 
There were uh, reports in uh, magazine in Hong Kong magazines that the the pirate city of that film was huge. Uh, they sold more than twenty thousand copy a day in one complex, and that was so disappointing for us. And and that was, uh, I think that accounts for one of the reasons of, of, of why the box office wasn't really good. Uh, that good in Hong Kong, but uh, in addition to that, it, it wasn't a really commercial commercial film. I must admit it. Uh, the 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 way I should be sculpted uh, in a way that I throw all the commercial elements or, or commercial calculation out of the window because I, I cannot calculate anymore. I cannot foresee any market situations. I, I could not estimate what the sales could be, so it it was it was a pretty much a lot more com personal piece than what I did uh, 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 in a couple for a couple of years. So I think both of these elements uh, uh, accounts for the 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 lack of good sales in Hong Kong. I was expecting a, 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 a script awards. I was always expecting a script awards because at, at that time, a lot, a lot of scripts were, were, were finished, so to speak. Uh, a lot of films were, were having very big problems on script. And we, I, I thought that script was, when compared with, with the other st stuff, uh, that year was uh, video sending. But I, I never expect all the other awards, uh, except the awards for Anthony, because he was so good in that role, and everybody was saying that Anthony should win the award. But besides that, I was so surprised. Uh, you have to understand that ever, ever after John Woo, not one action film won that many awards, and not one action film were being appreciated by the critics. Uh, action film were always considered as commercial uh, and, and cast uh, as not. Artistic value will always evaluate at the second class. And the fact that I co direct with Dante also attributed to the fact that it would be very difficult for people to give us the award. But they did, and I was so surprised. <laughs> 